Hi everyone. Hi Nick. I have um, three more uh, projects that I finished that I wanted to share with you today. Um, these are all made from the same uh, paper collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's Cartabella. Um, thinking it's like Welcome Welcome Winter, something like that. Um, so I got all. I got actually managed to get all three projects out of the one. Um, paper pad, which I was happy about. Um, let's see, I guess we'll start with, i do these all in the same video, so I guess we'll start with this one. Okay, this one is just a small um, spiral bound little photo book or um, could be a little journal. And it's got a um, recycled cardboard cover, probably a cheerio box. And it's yep yeah, six yeah six by six with one inch rings and the rings are blue. And with this one, I used I just used all the um, cutoffs from and a lot of the uh, cut aparts and the cutoffs from the other two books over there um, to make this one and some of the stickers. So I'm just gonna flip through this real quick. Snow days are the best days, and I use some of the I use some of the stickers. It's all blue and white. That's a little banner sticker. Some more snowflakes. This was one of the cut aparts, mitten stickers. This was like a whole border um, strip, but I cut it apart. This would make a great stocking stuffer, or that's the rest of that border. Um, a stocking stuffer, or a teacher gift, or a, like a brag book, brag, a brag book for a grandparent, something like that, or just something to stick in your tote bag. Um, make uh, Christmas shopping lists and things. Happy snow day. Do they even have snow days anymore or do they just go straight remote? And that's the back cover. And so that is that one. That's listed in the shop. And then we have this one. Hello winter. And this is, um, I think I actually used actual chipboard for this one. And it's, it's yeah, um, about five by seven. And that's a one inch spine. And it's all done in blue and white. Around to the back. Um, it's a belly band and a double matted, um, I guess an ATC size card. Um, from the cut aparts and the belly band will either it's loose enough that you can slide it up and down but it also has a velcro i'm just gonna slide it but it does also which we did it this way it velcros also <clears throat> and this one is a little um two-sided folio and in on this side is a waterfall and it's magnetized. So this, get this in, this drops down and it's just blank on the back. It's just blue, but there's opportunities for photos and then these all just flip up and they're all just plain blue. 
These are all cut aparts from the collection. So you've got an opportunity for one, two, three, four, five, six photos right there. And then on this side, this opens this way with a magnet. So there's one photo there. Close this. And then these will hold um, five by sevens or four by sixes. So it opens this way. And then do it flips down. And then this one opens this way and flips up. It's got the trees. So you've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, if I counted that right. Photos, places for photos. And then that's got a magnet. So lots of photos or, jar or journaling. This would make another great um, grandparent gift or a teacher gift or a little brag book. So that's also in the shop. Um, the last one with this collection, this was a, I followed a tutorial by um, Tiffany from uh, Let's Get Scrappy. Um, this was one of her, her videos. So this is, let's see, seven and a half, yeah, five and a half by seven and a half, and the sign is two inches. That's the back. Um, on the cover is some of that snowflake trim that I got at Walmart years and years ago, which I put up on Pop Dots. And then a sticker and a cut apart piece from the cut aparts. And I used eyelets for the closure and some uh, seam binding. That I, all I did was I just ran it through the eyelet and then I tied a knot on. Oop, I tied a knot on either end so it won't come out. But I didn't have enough of this. This is the blue I wanted, and I didn't have enough of the blue to make a nice big bow. So I just I just did it that way. So on the inside, there's three signatures, and they're all put together the same way. But I just used different, and there goes my dog. I just um, used different um, papers for each set of pages. So inside cover, so on this first page, this opens up that way. And they're all, everything's magnetized. And then it opens this way. And there's a little pocket with a, a tag that I made out of a piece of scraps. And then that closes over. And all three pages have uh, five by seven pullouts. And then when you turn the page this way, go on the back side, I have a pocket, a double pocket with a matted um, piece from the cut aparts. Everything's white on the back, pretty much, I think. And then a tag that goes in these pockets. Then under the belly band is a matted 4x4 four four photo spot. If you get it in there just right, it stays. And then you open it this way. Oops. You have a little pocket here, and that's a 4x4 four four cut apart. And that's black on the back. And then in the middle, this opens this way, and you can put like a 4x6 or 5x7, and then you have another place for a smaller photo there. That closes like that. And then you just rinse and repeat. And in the, in the gussets I put, um, that's the, the uh, branding strip. So again, opens this way. And this way. With a tag. And a pull out. 
and then you flip over and this one at the bunny and snowflakes another 4x4 four four, um, photo mat I'm not going to pull them all out and then pocket on this side it says keep calm and wait for snow and this one opens and then in the middle snowflakes and the pull out and then on this side which is the last page this one has snowman and more snowmans Get in there. and again the 4x4 four four photo mat under the belly band and then she opens this way and we have a little photo book and this way and then this opens like that and then click click and it's shut okay so that's that um, this one again is in the shop and <clears throat> um, if you're interested hop on over there and check them out and I will see you next time. Bye.